Welcome to Thrill Mill, Papa Palooza. I've been waiting to do this show pretty much since I was born. And I'll explain why. For one thing, I've always wanted to do a Mother's Day show. Mother's Day is coming up on uh, Sunday, right? So I thought the perfect Mother's Day show for me was two movie stars, my father. Why my father for Mother's Day? Because my father is one bad mother. Shut your mouth! Talk about Robert Maharo. Robert Maharo, who's in the audience tonight. Yeah. Pretty much the reason we're here. If he, if he hadn't made me, then I wouldn't have done the show, then you'd be somewhere else, and it's a long story. But anyway, thanks, Bob. Uh, he's here with uh, my stepmother, Paige. How you doing, Mom? Um, we just call her Sugar Cane because, of course, for years in my circle, my father was known as Zachary Cain, modern day bounty hunter, because that's what he is in tonight's film, Bare Knuckles, which I've been searching for for years. Finally found it last year. It was showing at Quentin Tarantino's Grindhouse Film Festival at the New Beverly on my birthday. I don't think it was a personal thing, it just turned out that way, but it was Kismet. I went down there, dragged the old man there. Director Don Edmonds, also famous or infamous, depending on who you know, <laughs> famous people I know, for uh, Isla, She Wolf of the SS. And this is his other masterpiece <laughs> that I'm unearthing tonight. Uh, so we went down there, and uh, so Tarantino had the only, only print in his collection. So I got in touch with his assistant, and he also showed our Return to Bacon County, which is our second feature tonight, also starring Robert Mojaro, the first film of Nick Nolfi, some, I don't know what that is, some bozo, and uh, Don Johnson. So, uh, we'll so, second battle. So, it's not. Actually, I'm going to let it all hang out tonight because actually, another reason tonight is a special show, and I wanted to do something really special. This is my last real bill at the Parkway Theater. You know, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> my father, Zachary Kane. Anybody fucks with me, I drop a dime, they're, they're dead. And really, Oakland, I mean, you don't need me. El Cerrito needs to be corrupted. El Cerrito needs some garage. El Cerrito needs a grindhouse theater, so. I expect you guys to follow me over there and grunge it up. First prize I got to give away, get rid of, whatever you prefer. Spirit of 76 on VHS video cassette tape. This is a retro prize. I don't know if you can actually watch it, but it's the thought that counts. Oh, Meathead's in it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Complete. there you go. So we're going to do a little multiple choice, just in case you're not completely familiar with uh, my pop. Um, question number one. Robert Pajaro was not rumored to have an affair. Was not rumored to have an affair with which of the following co-stars? <laughs> A. Robert Mitchum. B. Marissa Bell. C. James Caan. D. Charles Bronson. E. Don Johnson. I can picture that. <laughs> Or F, Nick Nolte. B. B, Marissa Mel. Okay. Oh, wait, I think I did the question wrong. <laughs> you see why you can only handle one theater at a time? He's too old. I heard a rumor he had an affair with Marissa Mel. Okay, I'm tossing it. Ready? If you don't have That's to probably do. the best. Okay, yeah. here we go. Ready, heads up, here we go. That was a shitty prize, anyway. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what the question was. <laughs> it's yours. That's the response I was really going right there, baby. Uh, Bachelor Pad Magazine. Uh, pay attention. Number two. Pop was not, was not a guest star in which of the following 70s TV shows? A. Starsky and Hutch. B. The Mod Squad. C. Beretta. Or D. Soul Train. I'll give you a hint, he is a very good dancer. He's not too bad. He's, yeah, he's, I, I saw a hit, man. He's a good dancer. Okay, come on down! Ryan House Double Bill. There's another one you can take home with you, please. The Hellcats and Chain Gang Women. It's a remake of a Shakespearean classic. I saw him and I'm, you can have him. Uh, three, okay. Which of the following? Cinematic Icons was not directly an influence on the career of Robert, young Robert Barrow. Was not an influence. A, Marlon Brando. B, James Dean. C, Montgomery Clift. Or D, Rin Tin Tin. 
<laughs> That's tough. Richard, I, I haven't seen the invoice myself. Come on now! I should give a shout out to Quentin Tarantino. He actually lent me these two prints for free. Wow. He didn't charge me shipping, just said sure, you can pretty much have them. So I don't know what that means, but <laughs> right. give it up for QG. All right, so right now, finally, and drill bill. The ultimate, ultimate 70s flick. It's got everything, man. It's got, it's got Pop, who's modern day uh, bounty hunter, as we said, Zachary Kane. It's got this wah wah pedal uh, soundtrack by this guy who did porn films. It's even Pop's chasing a, uh, a motorcycle riding kung fu serial killer. So it's got, it's got a big black partner named Black. It's got hot tubs and afros and just, uh, you can just, you're going to be covered. Flute, flute music in the lotus position. You're all going to need a bath after this. So, it's be <laughs> so uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Robert Fajardo in Bare Knuckles. Yeah. This movie was filmed before Greece, so that whole car chase thing, just one of many influential scenes in this film. And there's one person in the audience I want to bring up here just to give me a hug. I know he's shy, but let's give it up for Robert Baharo, Zachary Kane. Give me a hug, Pat. Come here. Give me a hug. You guys like Give me a hug. Zachary Kane. Parkway, you get a picture of a father beating his child. <laughs> All right, thanks, Bob. This movie was 100% authentic grindhouse. This is a grindhouse flip. Woo! And so is Return of Macon County. And the thing about a grindhouse is what, why they call them grindhouses were back in the day, these movie theaters would show burlesque. And we're going to throw on uh, something called the Stuntman my father did in 1967. Italian, Italian action. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Bring that on you. Better than home movies, right? Well, these are my home movies. Uh, before you're watching the A-Team, there was a high chaparral going on there. So anyway, stick around for Twilight Vixen Review, Return to Macon County, and we got a few more prizes to give away. Monica will spin the wheel for the last time here at the Parkway before we move it over to the Cerrito. And I'm, hey, I'm counting on you guys to all follow me to the suburbs and bring a little grindhouse Oak Town attitude over there. So you guys got to follow me over there and kick their asses. Oh, wait, 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 stop, stop. This is my father in bed with Gina Lola Brigida. Hi. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Number one. Is it zero to one? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Okay. All right. Last Brian prize here at Bill the Parkway. Okay. Give it up for Monica the Tinky Goddess. She's going to be spinning the wheel from now on over at the Cerrito. Over there too. We have couches there too. And the movies so, there will suck also. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming here to Papa Palooza, oh, no. the final Thrill Bill at the Parkway. And hope to see you at the Cerrito. Go to thrillbill.net and I'll be there every month indefinitely. So, same gig, different town. Thank you for 11 years here at the Parkway. And right now, we're returning to Macon County starring Robert Fajardo. The thrill is gone. Woo!